Unfortunately, there's no such thing as the best laptop bag because everyone has different needs and preferences, but there is a best laptop bag for you. I'm Tom, the founder of Pack Hacker, your guide to better gear. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and ringing the bell icon. In this video, we're gonna walk you through how to choose the best laptop bag for you. We're going to cram as much information into this video as possible, and we have a full written guide available over at packhacker.com. So make sure to open that up in another tab and follow along with the video for more information, link down below. We've gotten our hands on over a hundred different laptop bags which we define as being able to carry a laptop is one of their primary use cases. We'll leave links to all the bags mentioned in this video down in the description below as well. And some we have fully reviewed over on our website too. So make sure to check that out for more information as well as the best buying options that help support our channel at no additional cost to you. Let's dive in. There's more to a laptop bag than simply being able to carry a laptop. First of all, you have to consider its size. If you only need to carry your laptop and some smaller tech gear, you can forgo the unnecessary bulk of a larger bag and opt for something on the smaller end of the scale. Just like I have here, the super compact 8.5 liter Air Slim Pack. But if you need something that can hold a change of clothes, a lunchbox, and possibly some books, you may need to size up. Something like the North Face Borealis 28 liter that I have here has plenty of space for all of your daily gear inside, plus a bit more. And there's even some external features that allow you to carry more outside of the bag. Larger bags can be nice and have extra space, but you don't wanna overdo it if you don't need to, because they can be bulky and kind of annoying to carry around when they get too full. In addition to the bag size itself, you should also take into consideration the size of the laptop compartment or sleeve. The size of the laptop the bag manufacturer says it can hold is usually true, but they may not take into consideration any extra case or sleeve that you keep your laptop inside of. Some will have tons of room for even the bulkiest cases, while others may barely even be able to fit the laptop alone. If you want to be sure, it's not a bad idea to size up. Moving on, it's important to consider the style of the bag. You'll likely use it frequently, maybe even daily, so you should love how it looks. We're not here to tell you what the most fashionable laptop bag is, because beauty is always in the eye of the beholder, but here are some common styles that you'll likely come across. There's of course classic, like the Osprey Arcane Large Day Pack 2, as an example. Then there's the techie vibe, like the Timbuktu Parker Commuter. Heritage is another popular style. The Topo Designs Rover Pack is a perfect example of this. And then we have the business aesthetic, which the Bellroy System Work Bag has going on. You should also consider the materials, durability, and craftsmanship of a bag. As a general rule of thumb, ballistic and ripstop nylon, as well as Cordura branded fabrics are super durable. Leather and canvas laptop bags look classy and professional, but they tend to be a little bit heavier. Bags made from tarpaulin or TPE will be highly weather resistant, but they can be susceptible to marks and scratches. Lastly, Dyneema and X-Pack provide some nice weather resistance and are typically lighter in weight. When it comes to durability, you should take into account how and how often you'll be using it. Daily use and heading to the office with your bag every day is going to be a lot harder on it than if you, say, work from home and just head to the coffee shop or a meeting maybe once a week. Also consider zippers and hardware. It may seem like a small thing, but a broken zipper or a broken buckle can render some bags inoperable. When it comes to zippers, it is hard to beat the dependability of YKK. We've had decent experience with Riri, OOK, and Zoom branded zippers as well. When it comes to hardware, look out for brands such as Duraflex, YKK, Wujin, Nifco, and ITW. The Goruk GR1 is a perfect example of a bag worth investing in because it uses high quality materials and has some great craftsmanship as well. Featuring a 1000D Cordura nylon and beefy YKK zippers, this bag handles pretty much everything you can throw at it, although it's a bit heavy. And as an added bonus, there's even some Velcro on the front of the bag where you can add a patch. Naturally, we have popped the Pack Hacker patch on the front, which you can also get your hands on as a bonus when you sign up for Pack Hacker Pro, our awesome community of gear enthusiasts, as well as a bunch of other features like enhanced content, our private deals vault, entry into private giveaways, and more. We'll leave a link down in the description below for more details. 
In this section, we're gonna break down the different styles of laptop bag carry. First up, we have the backpack. These are typically more comfortable to wear when you're carrying heavier gear or walking long distances because two straps distribute the weight better than one. Additionally, wearing a backpack frees up both of your hands and backpacks tend to be a little bit more versatile than the other styles of carry. However, it's important to note that a backpack probably looks the least professional. The Tombin Cynic 30 and Synapse 25 have scored highly after a full testing phase and detailed reviews over on our site. They also come in smaller sizes, 22 liters and 19 liters respectively, so you can pick up the best size that works for you. Make sure to check out our full reviews over on the site if you're interested in learning more. Next up, we have the Trusty Tote. A big plus with this style is the quick and easy to access, large opening at the top. Picking up a tote is a lot easier and far more elegant than tossing a big bulky backpack on your back. That being said, totes can be uncomfortable to carry for long distances, especially if you load them up with heavy gear. And even if the tote offers long enough straps to pop over your shoulder, they can easily start to slip off with prolonged wear. One tote we've been digging recently is the Peak Design Everyday Tote 15 liter V2. It's a sleek bag with plenty of innovative features, such as the flexible dividers that help customize the main compartment Great if you carry camera gear. Just to note, the laptop sleeve will only hold 13 inch laptops. Moving on, we have messenger and briefcase style carry. As a quick note, these days, there's not a hard line between briefcases and messengers. There's quite a bit of overlap and some people use briefcase and messenger interchangeably. Typically, these bags are designed for work and office gear, which is likely ideal if you're going to be carrying a laptop. Plus, they're usually not too bulky and sit close to your body when being worn. Like a tote, they are easy to access and you can quickly sling it around to your front to get access to what's inside quickly. Depending on the style, these can look great in the business world with a suit. However, we must note that the messenger style is generally more unwieldy and less secure than other bags. They're also not the best choice if you have to carry a lot of bulky gear. A laptop bag worth checking out is the Osprey Arcane Brief. We're fans of the subdued urban aesthetic and love that you can also take off the shoulder strap and rock this in briefcase carry mode via the two top handles if you choose to do so. We found that backpacks, totes, and messengers are the big three when it comes to carry styles for laptop bags, but of course, there are a bunch of other ways to carry a laptop out there as well. For instance, there are three-way bags like the aptly titled Mystery Ranch three-way briefcase expandable that can be carried in three different ways and even tote pack hybrids like the Bellroy Duo tote pack. You can check out our full written guide for more information on these other types of carry styles. One of the most important aspects of a laptop bag is how well it protects a laptop. People that put their laptops into an additional case or sleeve before putting it inside of a laptop bag can get away with minimal padding. But if you plan to put it straight in, then you definitely wanna look for a laptop compartment that has some great padding. When it comes to laptop protection, in case is a brand that knows a thing or two. Their Icon backpack not only features a good amount of padding, but also a super soft lining on all sides, which is a nice touch. While padding is important, it could be argued that a false bottom is even more important. This is where the laptop compartment ends before the bottom of the backpack, tote, or messenger. It suspends your laptop off the bottom of the bag, meaning your laptop won't hit the ground if your bag hits the floor abruptly. We especially like the laptop sleeve design inside of the Peak Design Everyday Backpack 20 liter. It features a height adjustable sleeve, which allows you to ensure there's a substantial false bottom regardless of the size of your laptop. Some brands like Manal and Tom Bin get clever with how they design their laptop compartments, creating nests and caches that suspend your laptop in the center of the bag, offering protection on all sides. The Manal Daily Bag 3.0's device nest is one of the smartest integrations that we've come across. It securely holds your laptop in a soft padded embrace positioned in the center of the bag. Plus, it's adjustable so you know that your laptop is being held in firmly regardless of the size. Another important thing to consider is weather resistance since laptops and water don't mix. Keep an eye out for bags with some type of coating that will keep water from seeping through the fabric of the bag, be it DD WR, wax canvas, polyurethane, X-Pack fabric, or something else. Another potential access point for water is through the zippers. You can forego this completely by choosing a roll top bag as long as the fabric is weather resistant as well. You can also find bags with weather resistant zippers. We've had good experiences with YKK AquaGuard zips that repel moisture with a polyurethane coating, but just note, 
that the zippers can be a little bit stickier to operate than traditional zippers. The Mystery Ranch Urban Assault 21 offers a tri-zip of YKK AquaGuard zippers. This not only offers primo weather resistance, but also unique and easy access inside of the bag, something we've had great experiences with during real world usage. <laughs> As gear reviewers, we have concluded that organization is personal. Fortunately, laptop bags run the gamut from simple to complex and everything in between. Let's start with bags that have very little organization. With these, you aren't limited by all the pockets and can use the bag for lots of different things, as well as carrying your laptop, of course. These bags also allow you to take organization into your own hands by using packing cubes and pouches. The North Face Caban backpack has some tech organization in the front compartment but also the main compartment of the bag is pretty much a giant bucket. This makes for a really versatile backpack and allows you to use it how you see fit. Next up, there are bags with modular organization. You'll see things like hooks and Velcro for sold separately organizers and dividers, and maybe even PALS webbing for Molly attachments, allowing you to create a unique interior layout. While these bags are great if you really want to fine tune and optimize your setup, they are usually not as cost efficient as bags that already have the organization built in. Plus, you'll have to put a lot of time and thought into creating your modular system. Personally, this is my go-to method because I love tinkering and tweaking to get the most optimal setup I can possibly get, but hey, I do this for a living and your mileage may vary. Inside of the North Streets Weekender Meeting Bag, you'll find a ton of Velcro. This is so you can attach their specially designed Velcro in organizer pocket set. This bag also takes modularity one step further. You can also attach this meeting bag directly to the front of the larger North Street Weekender backpack. And there are bags that have a ton of organization with dedicated spots for all of your gear. With these, it can be nice because the brand does all of the thinking for you. There's no need to tinker and tweak your system to get it perfect. Just note that while they're great at organizing for the average person, think pens, pencils, and notebooks, it may not be the best if you're carrying more unique items. The Air Tech Pack 2 has a bunch of different sized pockets inside. They're stretchy, mesh, and zippered in the front compartment and it even has another organization panel at the back of the main compartment. There really is a place for everything. Finally, it's important to consider laptop access. You'll usually find a laptop sleeve inside of the main compartment or a dedicated laptop compartment accessible from the outside of the bag. With the former, it's important to consider how easy it is to get inside. Some bags will have compression straps that block the zipper, taking you longer to access. And if the laptop compartment is in the back of the compartment, Make sure to watch out for a piece of fabric at the top that can inhibit your ability to grab the laptop quickly. We typically prefer bags that have their own dedicated laptop compartment. Generally, it allows for quicker access and typically better protection too. We like the dedicated laptop compartment at the back of the Evergoods Civic Panel Loader 24 liter V2. It has a zipper that stretches down the full length of the side of the bag, allowing for easy access and is even fully suspended in the middle of the bag, which as we've learned previously, is a big plus. So there you have it, our guide to finding the best laptop bag for you. Have you found yours already? If you have, let us know what your favorite is in the comments below. And if you haven't already, head over to packhacker.com to check out the full written guide where we have even more detail than what we put into this video. Links down in the description below. Thanks for keeping it here at Packhacker, your guide to better gear. We'll see you in the next video.